Hi guys. So I have another treat for you today. I love looking at these large, gorgeous homes. And today I'm going to feature a Southgate Homes home. Uh, Southgate Homes, I have sold several of them. My most recent one was out in Roy City. But today I'm here in Northwood Manor. I am south of Panther Creek. Panther Creek is right here. And north of Panther Creek is Field. As you go up Legacy, uh, there's going to be, if you're familiar with Legacy West, they're going to build a Legacy North. It's going to have all the bells and whistles that Legacy West have, has, but it's going to just be amazing. And this is going up into the field where, again, north of there is the PGA. Um, far over on the east side in the Frisco, I don't know if you've heard, but they're building a Universal Studios, a small one for younger children and so that's convenient to get to it's just far enough away where it's not going to you're not going to get the traffic of it but it's close enough where you and the kids can go and enjoy it so this house is a five bedroom five and a half bath and as you can see from the outside look at the architecture southgate homes is known for its sort of modern look and you can tell by the angles and, and uh, the 90 degree angles and such, and um, just the architecture and the coloring, how Southgate Homes really separates themselves from other home builders. It's not very cookie cutter. So let's go in and take a look. So as soon as you come in the front door, you are, again, I think you can tell from Southgate Homes, look at the modernism in the style of the house. And look at this really, really high, gorgeous ceiling. It, it's very light, but at the same time, you have contrast, you have contrast. It's not just all gray or all cream or all, you know, any of that. There's a lot of really, really beautiful contrast. So again, this, uh, floor plan is called the Montgomery. As you come in to your left and your right, you have two bedrooms. Uh, both bedrooms have their own ensuite bathrooms, full baths, both with bathtubs. And as you come down a little bit farther to the left will be the garage. To the right, you have this wonderful office and the color scheme that they use for this office, I think really kind of fits in with the rest of the house and gives it a lot of flavor, if you will, even though it is kind of just black. But again, it's got these really, really cool barn doors, glass barn doors. So you're kind of taking the old, you know, I think a lot of people believe the barn door style is going out of style and you just see it everywhere, but the glass barn doors really, really add something to this office. So you come down and there's the hallways are very wide, they're very open. To the right, you'll have a wet bar, but it's not any kind of wet bar. It's really, really good sized wet bar. And um, it, it's not like your regular small wet bar stuck in the corner. To the left, you have your media room. Yes, the media room is on the bottom floor, and it is a good-sized media room, a place where you can kind of hang out, relax, listen to some music. It's wired for surround sound, of course, and it's very convenient to get to. Now, here is the joy of this house. You have this incredible living room here. Look at the size of the hearth. This type of fireplace is very common in the Southgate homes. Um, they like the efficiency and you know, again, it goes all the way up to the ceiling. Look at the design on the ceiling. This is not just a regular ceiling. They've actually got wooden planks across the top. Isn't that amazing? Look at this banks, these banks of windows here. This is all sliding glass and you can do the whole, you know, to there and all the way back. Then, as you come around, 
you're greeted by this open kitchen. This, let's see, one, two. This is probably 10 feet long. Um, and you have seating for four there comfortably, a fifth on the end down here, and all the most modern of modern appliances. You have a six burner gas stove, restaurant quality stove. Look at all of your counter space. You have a little planning area over here. And you have a good size walk-in pantry. Double ovens. I mean, it's this is a chef's dream. And it's just open. Talk about being able to entertain. But the height of all of the entertainment is here in this dining area. Look at all of this just really casual seating. Can you imagine having a party here and having just everybody have a place to sit with a drink, talking, you know? And sometimes, if you're like me, sometimes I go to parties and there's tons of people there and they're all talking and they're all mingling. And sometimes, you know what? I like to just get my beverage and I like to just kind of sit off to the side and sort of people watch. I mean, I might know everybody. I might not know everybody, but I, I kind of like to just sit off in the corner and people watch. This house is perfect for that. This is my kind of house right here. So I want you to look at, this house is actually sitting on a, a cul-de-sac. So it's got this wraparound backyard. But look at this, isn't this incredible? All the way around to this side. And you see the outdoor fireplace. You have this covered patio sitting area here. It is just a dream. You have a nice door here to go out instead of having to go through this side, sliding door. But you have that option. So far, I love this house. So we come around this way and we're gonna find the laundry room, huge laundry room, a half bath here. Again, another exit, if you will, to the backyard. And you have this wonderful primary retreat. You've got the exposed beams, these painted a uh, nice slate gray. Just fresh and open. I do want to point out that there is a, a sketch of a man playing violin. So again, I already love this room. <laughs> and we come into the primary bathroom. I have to show you all the shower. The shower is amazing. Look, you come in through here and you have the shower and it goes all the way through. You got the handles here to turn it on. How cool is that? It's just really, really wonderful. Standalone soaker, soaker tub, uh, wash water closet, two large um, closets for you. Beautiful double vanity storage here. And of course you have the high ceiling. All right, let's try and go upstairs. I would like to point out how large these stairs are. Sometimes you go into houses and the stairs are kind of narrow. These are pretty wide stairs. Plenty of room to feel like you're really, really, you know, space. You have a lot of space. As you come up to the landing of the stairs, you have little mini office areas. You have kids, they can kind of study here if they would study at a desk and not bother each other, or at least each one can be there and have their own area. You have a nice flex space here, it can be a game room. Um, it, you can do a lot of things here, make it another mini um, family room. You have one full bath here for this bedroom, and then you have one full bath here for this bedroom. And I kind of like how you come in and you come around and see how light and bright this room is. Even a little detail of having a little window right here. Very cute, very cute. And as we come around to the last room in this house that I want to show you, 
this would be a great teenager's room. And why is that? Or college student that stays home. Why is that? Because they will have this nice closet, walk-in closet. You come in, oh, what is this over here? Oh my gosh. What? What is this area over here? You do. Your maybe roommate, whoever has this room, has this great little flex area over here. It's wonderful. I do want to point out that there's like a really old school Genesis Sega game console there. Must be an older person that is here and loves me. But I love this house. It's the Montgomery. It is Southgate Homes. I love this uh, builder. The other thing I don't know if I've said or not, that they are known for their green houses. They're, the houses are sealed very tight to the point where they actually have to have like a vent that circulates the air every so often because it's very tight. What does that mean? That means you're not losing um, energy and what you have is, is um, stays within the house and that helps your energy bills all the way around. We're always worried about you know, the price of electricity and heating, all of that kind of stuff. Greenhouses are the way to go, and Southgate Homes knows that this So, thank you for going with me on this tour. I know you want to know how much it costs. 4,400 square feet, five bedrooms, five and a half bath, two car garage, large lot, all of the updates, about $2 million. And it's for sale. Let me know if you want to see it. Two bedrooms, I mean, call, text, or email me at any time, and I'll be there for you. Thanks, guys.